What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel Mathlete. This is me Saad Salim with another video on rotation. Now in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to rotate an object about a certain center and we're going to be doing that with the help of an example. So here we have triangle ABC and the question is asked us to rotate triangle ABC 90 degree anti-clockwise about the center 0 comma 1 right. So I should mark the center 0 comma 1 with an X right. Okay, so basically in order to learn rotation, it's very important that you should have good visualization skills, right? And in order to try and enhance those visualization skills, I'm going to be doing it with the help of a weird instrument that I've come up with, right? Now, don't freak out. So we're going to be using this, right? Now, before you freak out, I can explain, right? So the idea is, so the idea is very simple, from the center, we're going to count the number of units we have to move in order to reach the object, right? So if I count from the center the number of units I have to move in order to get to A, so that is going to be one unit up, right? One unit up and then one, two, three, four. So one unit up and four units towards the right, right? So let's mark that here one unit up and four units towards the right. Now remember, I'm rotating this 90 degree anti-clockwise, right? So let's just, let's just write the numbers that we see on a clock here. 12, 3, 6, 9, okay? So now let's see, let's see what happens once I rotate this 90 degree anti-clockwise. So if I rotate this 90 degree anti-clockwise, let's see what happens. Okay, so here's the center, right? So we have to move one unit left and four unit up in order to get to the image. Meaning this point, once you rotate it 90 degree anti-clockwise, is gonna go one unit left from the center, of course, and then four units up. So let's count that. From the center, let me use a different color for that. From the center, one unit left and then four units up. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so here's A prime, right? A prime for image, A for object. Right, so let's bring this back to normal, okay. Now, from the center, now I'm going to rotate B now. From the center, if I want to go to B, that means I'll have to move one unit up, so that stays the same, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one unit up and nine units towards the right. So that means the only thing that I'm going to change is this four right here. So I'm going to change this to nine. And now, if I rotate this 90 degree anti-clockwise, let's see what happens. So this is what happens. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one unit left and nine units up. So if I take this from the center, one unit left and then nine units up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Just enough room. So this is gonna take me to the image of V. And at this point, I think I should also write down the coordinates. So the coordinates of A prime are minus one five. The coordinates of B prime are minus one ten. So minus one comma 10. Okay, so now one, two down, one more to go. So from the center, if I want to go to C, let's see what do I have to do. I have to one, two, three, four, five, five up, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five and nine, remember that. So that means I'm just going to change this one to five. So five up and nine right. Now what happens if I rotate this 90 degree? Uh, anti-clockwise, let's see. So this takes me, for this I have to go five right, sorry, five left, and then nine up from the center. So five left, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and then nine up. So here I am at one, if I just go nine units up, so that's gonna take me to 10. So let's just mark that. So here we are. Here are the coordinates of C prime. Let's just write them down. So the coordinates of C prime are negative five comma 10. So negative five comma 10. Now you can do the exact same process with the help of just making the sign here. All right, and then just visualizing that if you have, let's say one here and four here. So if you were to rotate this 90 degree anti-clockwise, this is gonna swing this way. So it's gonna be one left and four up. I'll use this just to help you be able to visualize better, right? Now let's be good students and join these points with the help of a straight line and not freehand, of course.
So there you have it. That's how you rotate an object 90 degree anti-clockwise with any center that you like. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share this with your friends, classmates, and whoever you think can possibly benefit from it. I'll see you guys in the next video in which I'm going to teach you how to find the center of rotation. All right, so again, that's a very important concept. So stay tuned for that. Until then, Allah Hafiz.